Hey guys, here's how to get the Radius project up and running. I'm on the Radius GitHub uh, repo right now. All I'm going to do is download the whole zip, save it, and then when it's done, I'm going to unzip it. So extract it. Now you find it up here. Radius master should be right there. Wait for that to finish. And then it's right in this folder. We're going to open up Unity and then open Other and find this project. Just going to copy the path, paste it in, select this folder, and it's going to load up. We're just going to compile, import all assets again because I've removed some of the unnecessary files and um, left them out of the repo. Once the project is loaded up, it'll have these errors, but it's just telling you that you need to load co coherent in. So you go to assets, um, import package, custom package, and find your coherent package. I'm going to open it. It'll decompress and ask me to import. Now it's decompressed. I'll just say import. All of it's new. The reason you have to import coherent in again is because I can't include it, uh, the source the licensing issues it'll load in and then once that's done you can do one more thing with coherent now that coherence done should have a folder there and all other folders as well but go to edit project settings coherent UI at the bottom select UI folder and select the UI resources folder in that um, in the unity project folder select it you and all your errors should be cleared and you should be able to play the game. Right now we're using the Ubuntu font um, which is not my original intention it's just something I can include in the github repo without um, going against the license. To turn off the music you just go to the options and turn down the music volume right away. So if you want to get the original font you're gonna need to get Mission Gothic um, you can get it from last type not web font here you go last type co-op and then you can just download it from this page here and then include it in the fonts folder and that's located in asset or UA resources fonts and then create a mission gothic folder and save it out. You can check the CSS to see how I linked it um, if you want to get the exact uh, folder and path or just double check that you got the right one. And then the game, you can host a server, even start a LAN server off and on, um, set the player's description, password, you can set, pick a level, start the server. As you can see in the lobby, you can switch back to the server browser, disconnect or uh, join a new game, refresh and stuff. So you're just go back to the lobby, start the game. And if you actually want the music back, like we're capturing territory right now, but say you want the music back, you can just press escape again, go to options, turn up the music again, turn up the sound effects however you want. And you can go around capturing the territories. You can even end the game early, um, but this will actually count down the time limit if no one gets the right amount of score in the time. Wait, the, the uh, score limit is 250. I should have uh, options to set them to lobby soon. But once you reach 250, the game will automatically end and everyone will go back to the lobby menu. So now we're back. And we can start the game again or we can just disconnect. I'm gonna turn on the music. We disconnect. And we can start a new server again just to show you. Um, that. It's our LAN server. Whoa, LAN. Local. Um, we can start level two. Level two is just a kind of a test level. Start it and refresh. <clears throat> it says server data is but we're not 
kidding. It updating. I'll look into that. Um, so we can start the game again. And this is just level two, a test level, just one territory in it. You can uh, the camera controls are just uh, middle click to and hold and scroll around for zooming, and then middle click again, hold and drag to side to side to rotate. You can just end the game early right here, and that's it. Quit the game right here. It doesn't work in the editor, but it does work in a build. Quit and it'll quit out the game. Hope you enjoy it. So if you want the Mission Gothic font in the Radius project, just download it from here. You can get it from losttype.com slash Mission Gothic. And since we're going to need the TTF and WOLF files, and this provides download provides OTF, we're going to need to change them. So I'm going to use Font Squirrel uh, Web Font Generator. And then just upload those here. So we're gonna want bold italic and reg bold and then since the Q is maximum of three, so you have bold, bold italic and regular italic. We're also going to want regular. And once you have those four, you can just leave it on optimal. And since the license for Mission Gothic is for nonprofit and open source. I think we're good that way, so you can download the kit. And the reason I can't include this font by default in the repo is because of the license. So once it's done, it'll download. Save it. I'm just gonna have two. Extract it. 2014 0520. And it should be here. So we're going to want bold italic TTF and wolf. We're going to want bold, both of those. We're going to want regular. And we're going to want completely regular italic and regular. So those eight files, copy them. Go to your Radius uh, Unity project folder. Um, go to UA resources, fonts create a mission underscore gothic folder paste those in and they should be named right mission gothic regular web font yep and then go back to your project press play and it should be using the mission gothic font now yep so now everything is in mission gothic I just think it's a better looking font. I just can't include it in the repo because of licensing issues. Hope this helps.